Hello and welcome to another episode of The Art of War. This episode will start a new segment of our channel for commentaries, and this commentary will showcase a strategy called the Two Second Win, which utilizes a full stack of cavalry. And this allows for a quick victory, which is what the title suggests, Two Second Win. And the armies are, um, well, me as France. I have one general's bodyguard, four lances, four gendarmes, two noble knights, and one mounted sergeant. And my opponent, as Sicily, he has one general's bodyguard, two Norman knights, four pike militia, four dismounted Norman knights, four peasant archers, three sword and buckler men, and two Muslim archers. As you can see, I've already attacked his cavalry with my own cavalry, and I've Dispatch three units to deal with these two units of Norman Knights to make sure I gain victory over there. But as you can see, he's sending reinforcements, he's sending his General's Bodyguard and Pike Militia to try and help him out. And I'm moving off my cavalry from the other flank to try and go around him. The fact he has Pike Militia units makes things a bit complicated because normally with two second win the idea is just to make a full frontal charge with all your cavalry units and the shock of the impact you tends to route a lot of enemy units that's the whole core of the strategy however I don't want to be charging front on into his pikes and that's why I'm doing things systematically I'm eliminating his cav first and then I'll deal with his infantry later and as you can see I've sent my own reinforcements in to charge in and just try to break the enemy units and it's gonna work because the pike militia are um, militia units they've got low morale and I managed to rout them but his general's bodyguard manages to get away I really should have been a bit more careful there and I in hindsight should have withdrawn my engaged cavalry before his p pikes got there but this battle was around three or four years ago so I wasn't as proficient back then at, you know, managing my units and stuff. And as you can see, I've charged his sword and buckler men, which he's arranged to protect his flank, because light infantry and heavy infantry are really no threat to my heavy cavalry, as long as I get a charge bonus. However, you should never leave your cavalry in melee with enemy infantry for too long, because infantry is just better at melee fighting. You should withdraw and charge your cavalry, just like the battle advisor says in single player battles. Because your cavalry is always most efficient when charging, and you'll kill heaps of infantry. Inf infantry are just no match for cavalry when the cavalry is charging them. As you can see, I've withdrawn my cavalry, and I've got other units moving around to the rear of the enemy army, and I've sent more units to the other side. Now, two second win is a strategy exclusive to vanilla medieval battles because in third age total war, the cavalry just isn't as strong. However, in vanilla, heavy cavalry are basically the most powerful units in the game. They can take on pretty much anything. People tend to think that spearmen are good against heavy cavalry, but they're really pretty much the same as other types of infantry because heavy oh, cavalry will attack. still take out a heap of them in the charge. The only type of infantry which are actually effective against cavalry are pikemen because in the charge cavalry will just get wiped out if they front on charge pikemen that are bracing and standing still. This is why the two second win works because most infantry types will just get crushed by cavalry in the charge as you can see here demonstrated by these sword and buckler men and various other units getting smashed by my cavalry however there are things that you need to be quite careful of when using cavalry in general not just when using the two second win but when you're using the two second win it's more relevant because your whole army is basically cavalry so you need to be a bit more careful and you shouldn't be leaving your cavalry in the lead for any time at all basically because your cavalry are most effective when charging. You should always be either withdrawing or charging. But here I needed time for my other cavalry to get there and charge their pike militia from the rear. So that was kind of a sacrifice. Now I got rid of all his cavalry early on to make sure that my units would all be faster and could run away from 
their infantry. However, as you can see, I forgot about one of my cavalry units and the infantry caught it and killed it. And that's one of the drawbacks of two second wind is because you have to manage so many cavalry units with drawing and charging and if they end up spread out across the battlefield you can easily forget about one or two of your units and they'll get caught by infantry. Over here I managed to catch some of their pike militia from behind with my cavalry and that's the way you have to deal with pikemen. The fact he had pikemen really slowed down the whole battle process because normally in two second win the battle will probably would have been over by now. It's a very quick strategy, it's like an all or nothing strategy. You either win or lose the battle in the first few moments. If you manage to rout enough units in the initial impact, then you'll most likely win the battle. But if your cavalry, you know, start dying and can't rout the enemy, then you'll probably lose. Now I've got my cavalry converging on his units, which are pretty spread out, and these are engaged with some of my other cavalry right now, which I probably should have withdrawn earlier, but I probably forgot about them as well. His units are pretty spread out now, but they're still managing to rout a lot of my cav oh, units, so attack. at this we point I'm down. probably starting to lose the battle. I've got a few units that have stopped routing and are ready to come back, as you can see in the distance back there. And I've routed quite a few of his units now as well with cavalry charges repeatedly. And now the fighting centered around this place and I'm in a prolonged melee with his infantry which is never a good idea as I mentioned before. But I didn't have the micromanaging skills at the time to really withdraw and charge all my units at the same time. But I am still managing to beat him in this melee because his militia units are routing, as you can see. But he's got reinforcements coming in from other fights that he's won against my cavalry. And this will route my men because they're getting charged from the rear and my cavalry are not getting their own charge bonus. So here you can see that my men are beginning to route and fight to the death when they're surrounded. And it's like a chain reaction and all my cavalry over there basically route. Here I have some cab charging into his pikes head on, which is not a good idea, but since his pikes weren't stationary, both sides will suffer quite a few casualties. And here I've committed my general's bodyguard, because I've got n basically no other units left since all my r units routed over in that center melee. His general's bodyguard is coming over to fight mine, and he's going to get the charge bonus, but I outnumber him, so it should be okay. As you can see, the rest of his army is running in, trying to catch my general's bodyguard. So I'm going to withdraw, or else I'm going to be in big trouble. And here you can see that his general dies just at that moment, which is going to help me greatly, because his whole army's morale will just drop. And I've got one unit of gendarmes to the side over there, and I'm going to charge in at the same time with both my gendarmes and my general's bodyguard, which will take out quite a few of his men. And here my general's bodyguard is retreating once again because I have to keep withdrawing and charging right now or else I'm done for. I'm at a pretty big disadvantage right now as it is since he's got so many men left and I've got only a few. As, as you can see my gendarmes routed back there so it's just my general's bodyguard now and things are not looking good. But since I've only got one unit left, I can withdraw and charge it quite efficiently because I can focus all my attention on it. And at the back somewhere, I've got a mounted sergeant's unit, which has come back from routing, which will help me. And that's where he's sending a couple of his units, dismounted Norman Knights, to deal with them. But I'm going to run around them and come back to join my general's bodyguard, which is still withdrawing and charging to inflict maximum damage and suffer the least casualties possible because I am really quite in a pickle now and here my mounted sergeants come in as well and that manages to route his sword and buckle men and his dismounted Norman knights over here and he's basically just charging everything in towards my two units so I have to keep withdrawing and charging since that's the only thing I can do and that's what I've been trying to do the whole way through the battle but I but now I've got only two units left so it's a lot easier 
because I can focus my attention on these two units. And now he's shooting my mountain sergeants with his archers at the back there, and he's killing quite a few of them, which is not good for me. But I can't really do anything about that right now because he's got a heap of other infantry in between me and his archers. So I'm going to come back and charge him again and again. And he's trying to regroup his men into some sort of formation. But that doesn't really worry me because I'm just going to keep charging him. I really have no other option. And I'm just going to try and rout him. Since he outnumbers me so much, I can't really hope to kill them all. And it's working because I managed to rout one of his dismounted Norman knights. So I withdraw and get ready for the next charge. And all the while he's shooting me with his archers, but I really can't do much about that. And here he manages to rout my mounted sergeants, so it's just my general's bodyguard left. And my general's bodyguard unit is now down to only 5 men, which is not very much compared to his massive amount of troops left. But I'm just hoping to rout him, so I'm going to charge into his dismounted Norman Knights again. And this routes his unit, as you can see, and now I withdraw again because that's what I have to do. And as I withdraw another of his unit's routes, which helps me of course, and now his units are all wavering. So I don't want them to recover, so I just run back in and it doesn't even matter that I didn't get my charge bonus because I managed to route his Muslim marches. And I'm just going to keep doing that, because I have to keep attacking him so that his units don't recover their morale. He has some pikes and that's a worry, but I just got to ignore that. I'm j I just got to try and route them as fast as possible or else my units are going to die. Because he can shoot me as well as fight me. And there I managed to route another Muslim archer's unit while doing that. So now I'm down to three men against his still quite a few men but I managed to route another unit of his, a peasant archers unit so now he's down to one large unit of peasant archers and a few pike militia but I'm down to three men so it's really close but here I've got a bit of lag for some reason but it doesn't matter because now it's really down to the wire he's got his pikes coming in and I just really need to route them right now because I'm gonna lose if we fight to the death and I'm gonna run straight back into them after I withdraw because I don't want them to get a chance to recover their morale because they're all unwavering and I managed to run straight into his peasant archers and he sends his pikes around and manages to take out one of my men so I'm down to two men but now I managed to rout his pike militia unit and this really is the final straw for his army because his peasant archers rout as well and I've won by two generals bodyguard men. So a very, 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 very close battle showcasing the two second win strategy. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.